Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. Uh, this time, why not? We're going to be looking at Killzone 3 on the PlayStation 3. Now, I never played this one. I remember when it actually came out, and I don't know, I just wasn't interested in it at all. Um, I think it was because, like, Killzone 2, although I kind of enjoyed the game, I wasn't like hyper hyper invested in it so um i just never bothered picking this one up uh, i remember looking at quite a bit of gameplay of it back in the day and it looked fine um you know again it just felt like another sort of generic third per uh, first person shooter which was pretty much all we were getting really i mean back especially in that generation everything had to be a first person shooter um, which was, you know, pretty dark times, to be fair. I don't really know what the story is. Uh, looking on the back of the box, it says, Know your enemy. Stranded on a hostile planet, hunted by the Hellgast, a few thousand men left to face the wrath of an entire empire. Your only hope is to escape... Of escape is to regroup, adapt to their brutal world, master their fearsome weapons, and make their ruthless tactics your own. Oh my. Um... I don't know where we're going to go from this. Are we going to bust out the PS4 Pro uh, and play Killzone Shadowfall? <sighs> I mean, I guess we should. So anyway, we're going to look at this. Um, now, I know roughly thinking back, oh God, um, well over a decade now, how the second game ended. Uh, I, I think we achieved some kind of victory at the very least um I, but i guess we we kind of bungled that and we got stuck on the planet because this apparently is a direct sequel this starts as soon as the first uh, the second game finishes so that's going to be interesting what i'm most interested with this game uh is this this game came out what two yeah two years after the first one so we know the playstation 3 was an absolute ass to program for it was pro i think it was like the most complicated um architecture like ever apart from possibly the sega saturn yeah the sega saturn was quite brutal to the point where quite often developers would only use one of the two processors <laughs> because it was just way too complicated to use both of them but with the um same sort of deal with the the playstation um 3 that just had this completely alien architecture uh but as games progressed for it and some of the top developers did start getting a handle on it we saw some huge differences from the early games to the late games on the playstation so that's what i'm kind of looking for in this game i want to see if we can feel any real differences does the game feel smoother does it look a little bit nicer um response is something that i really want to see um knocked up a notch in this one because killzone killzone one felt really really slow to play it was very sluggy uh and it wasn't smooth however we know that game pushed the uh playstation two to its absolute limits uh, and you could see it very impressive what they you know achieved on that machine but you know so killzone 2 kind of felt like the same thing it really felt like the playstation 2 was struggling uh or the playstation 3 i should say now my playstation 3 that i have here uh is basically brand new uh, i got very lucky with it when i bought it it is the super slim model 500 gig and it's only really been used for titan tries <laughs> i haven't used it for anything else really um and that's the other thing as well this controller is literally brand new um apart from you know some very very light use so i know it's not because the playstation's old it's not because it's struggling to read the discs it that's just how the game felt and played when you contrast to how smooth and fluid like Gears of War was and Halo was, it, I think that's the biggest jarring thing that I noticed going to the um, Killzone games. They're very, very kind of slow and everything feels like an effort just moving the camera around, which I don't really remember 
that being a thing with um the kill zone game uh the resistance games especially resistance 2 when i first got this playstation i did play a little bit of um kill zone ah kill zone uh resistance 2 and that felt very smooth and very fluid way more so than the first game actually yeah we did play um uh resistance 1 through on that machine actually um yeah good time actually enjoyed it a lot more playing it now than I did back then. But anyway, maybe we'll look at the Resistance games as well, because I do have them all on my shelf. Because PlayStation 3 games are... Most of them, like 360 games, are dirt cheap at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking to see some interesting improvements. Now, we do have some trivia here. So, the game was originally planned to have four playable characters, but this was scrapped due to technical limitations and story reasons. The game features several celebrity voice actors, such as Malcolm McDowell, Ray Winston, Brian Cox, and Mark Strong. You have to forgive me, I don't do celebrities. I'm not interested. So, I think Malcolm McDowell rings a bell. And I don't watch TV or many series either, so... Uh, Ray Winston, sounds familiar. Brian Cox, I mean, when I think of Brian Cox, I think he was, uh, <laughs> Brian Cox was somebody on uh, English radio, uh, I think. Mark Strong. Eh. Anyway, the game has a secret ending that can be unlocked by completing the game on elite difficulty. Well, we're not getting that then, are we? Uh, well, YouTube is a thing, isn't it? The game has a reference to the movie Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, where Rico says, I love you, to Sev, and Sev replies, I know, before being frozen in a stasis pod. Okay. So I'm, I'm interested to see the ending to this game, to be honest, because Shadowfall, uh, which is Killzone 4, was set, I think it's like a hundred years into the future, and somehow the Hellgast and the ISA are now living on the same planet in some weird kind of like Cold War situation. Yeah, it is fucking shit. Absolute garbage. To think that I was actually reasonably excited for that game as well. Oh, that was awful. I think they just needed to rush out a um, game for the launch of the PS4 that actually showed off the capabilities. And the game was pretty. It was. It was gorgeous. But, <laughs> yeah, it was trash apart from that. Again, can't speak of the online multiplayer component. Never played it. I hear it is quite good, I think. But, yeah, that's my knowledge of the Killzone franchise, really. But who knows? Shall we pop over and have a look? I think we should. Okay, let's go. If I'm honest, my expectations are... I just, I'm just going to assume that it's going to be like Killzone 2, but maybe a little bit prettier, maybe some bigger set pieces, uh, some minor improvements. But apart from that, I'm expecting it to be fairly similar. Well, here we go. Oh, the interface is different straight off the bat. It's much more red. <laughs> I, I like that, actually. Nice bold in your face. Health warning. Always play in a well-lit environment. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, we've got some light, I suppose. Uh, please adjust the brightness until we don't care. Control. Oh, jetpack. What? Ah, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. So we can click that stick in. Oh, that's weird. All right. So the only difference is um, L1 and R2 and what the stick does. Click the stick to zoom or click the stick to melee. How do you melee on, uh, on standard? Oh, I see. Melee jetpack. Uh, I mean, sure, we'll go standard. Fine. Fine. It's all fine. It's probably fine. Now this is where I check my uh, audio, and no, okay, we are actually recording. Good. 
setting up trophy data. Please wait. Oh. Yeah, I, <laughs> one of the things that I always remember about the PlayStation 3, it was a very, very, very slow machine. Uh, everything it did just took ages. Which was interesting. Because the 360 was always very fast and snappy. Uh, I guess it's an operating system thing. I'm not really sure. There we go. Because I remember the PS3 actually has to load your trophies as well and synchronize your trophies and stuff like that. Never have any of that guff on the 360. I was not expecting this music. At the end of the first extrasolar war, Earth's ISA forces had crushed the rogue colony. Okay, the victory did not bring peace, but instead brought humility something. Driven by the vision of scholar Vasari, the population of Helgen transformed from a defeated nation into a military superpower. They would become humanity's greatest threat. They called themselves the Helgars. Really? But well, okay. Provoked into war, the neighbouring planet of Vector launched an invasion fleet to deal with Fasari. Within seconds of entering Helgen's atmosphere, ground to space defences ripped the fleet. They don't give you a lot of time, do they? But against all hope, a small elite unit managed to fight their way into the heart of the Helgen nation. Fasari's place. When the, uh, yeah. Extreme measures. To, ah, the nuclear. Yes, he nuked his own men, didn't he? I remember that. My heart's off. All preparations have been made. Where are Radek and Star? The package is ready. Father. Okay, so she doesn't look Helgast. Sons and daughters of Helgan. On this day, as our enemy ships burn away in orbit, as our bodies lie broken in our streets, we are once again reminded of the depths of their depravity. For years we have suffered unbearable hardships, banished by our enemies to die from disease, from famine. They scarred us, they weakened us, but that time has passed. For years we worked away on empty stomachs, slowly rebuilding our strength, our pride, and our nation. But that time has passed. All these years, I have been humbled by the honor to lead you ever, ever onwards. From this day till the end of days. Sir, you have to move the ISAO here. Alright. So, uh, I guess he didn't die. He just nuked his own men, just for the fun of it, I guess. Um, okay. I mean, this guy is, like, literally pure evil. Like, blaming the ISA for everything, even though they're obviously the aggressors. I like it. Alright. Now, one thing I will say is this... Just this menu screen is way more responsive than the last one. And you don't appear to have that stupid motion sensor shit. Where you can, like, trip out the background. Which is cool. Alright. We'll go campaign. We'll go veteran, because that's what we played the other one on. 6 months later. 6 months ago, our enemies murdered a great man. Skalar Vazari, our nation's father. Ah. Oh. Today, we remember the hope he gave us. The purpose he gave us, the vision he gave us. A vision in which the Hellgard people reclaim their rightful place in this universe. Years from now, we will tell our children of this day. The day his vision became our reality. <laughs> the symbolism is not lost on me. So in six months, they just, like, managed to completely rebuild everything. All right. So we've been surviving on this planet for six months. Damn.
Wait, are we playing as Hellghost? Or are we dressed as Hellghost? I I do like all their technology and how angular everything is. Are we really playing as Hellghast? The ISA forces are scattered. The man responsible for Vasari's death is to be executed. This is the Hellghast's finest hour. Okay. So Stahl Arms Deep South, uncontested forerunner in Helgen's advanced weapons manufacturing and development patrol the area. Cool. I can. The game feels smoother. August 2. Nice. You've been assigned to weapons testing. Sounds good to me. As transport incoming. Ooh, prisoner transport. Is that... Are they the guys that we played as? In the first game? Uh, second game, I should say. Go to the shooting range. We can handle the shooting range. I was not expecting to play as um, Hellgast at all. It's kind of like the whole Halo 2 thing all over again. Where they surprise you. Now, I recognize that voice. This is a ruse, isn't it? Beat it? Ah, okay. The textures definitely don't look as nice as the second game. There's a lot more jaggies as well. But I don't really care about um, visual downgrades as long as the game runs smoother. They're taking him to the broadcast room now, sir. Yes, sir. You two on lab duty. Go report for weapons testing. I was going to say, there isn't as much hitching, but <laughs> there, there we are. There it is. Look at this, though. This is impressive stuff. This is very impressive stuff. I don't know how we run. Or even if we can run. Probably not. This is one of those. This was going to become a thing for Sony games later on. The the walking simulators. Press X to walk forwards. The armorer wants to see you. He's at the far end of the weapons range. All right, all right, all right. I'm on the way. I'd like a gun, please. A big one with lots of buttons. Anyone Ooh. working in sensitive areas of the facility needs clearance. Before you begin, load up an ammo. It's in the crate here, by the booth. All right. Unlimited ammo. Destroy the targets in the center of the range. All right. Oh, that feels better. All right. That feels a lot better. Good job. Now it's time for sign -out. Pistol, give me me pistol. Destroy the close targets on the ring. That is close. Don't have much <laughs> I like the way that they're um they're on their knees and surrendered. Yep. Yeah. Standard. Alright, now switch back to your rifle. What? What? Try shooting those far targets on the range. What? Yes, we shall shoot the surrendering enemies. That's fine. Not really. Oh, right. I see. Way ahead of you, sunshine. Yep. 
Yeah, we... It definitely feels more responsive. Can we turn on like um, subtitles or something? Everything feels way more responsive, actually. Ah, there we go. Alright. Yeah, definitely does feel like right. quite the in improvement. Yeah, yeah, that's all the training we get. We're now ready for war. 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 Lead me to war, sir. Chairman Style wants you in the broadcast room immediately. All right. Let's go to the broadcast room. Can we run yet, or are we still not allowed to run? Hey. hey. I mean, the voice acting is questionable still for the Hellgast. I like the way in the intro as well, the female Hellgast still looked like a, you know, normal human as is standard. Because you don't want an ugly woman in a video game, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the way. Are we going to get executed? There's a lot of hitching back there as well. Over here. Over here? Yeah, he doesn't sound like a Helgen. At all. Are they, like, <coughs> augmenting their own soldiers or something? Kind of get that, ooh, kind of get that feeling. All right. So I'm guessing the chairman is the guy that took over. Oh, look. They're going to be executed by some new fancy weapons. Standard. Using, yeah, using live targets. <laughs> For weapons testing. How deliciously evil. You guys the executioners. Right over there. Really? Straight from training? Into executing the enemies? I know. And I will cut out this disease of compliance and subjugation. So, to honor the Zari, tomorrow we launch the greatest military campaign in our history. And to celebrate that, I will give you justice. Revenge! And the death of his killers! <laughs> Alright, that was cool. That was cool. Oh, come on. Way to blue balls us. <sighs> yeah, I remember this, actually. 
Seth. Seth, you okay? No, Rico. I'm not okay. We had the guy. We had him. And you killed him. You killed Basari. Yes, sir. Cross the river. Clear. Can do. Absolutely. Of course, General. Tell me he's doing better than he looks. I'm calling it. Time of death, 2120. Oh, this is just perfect. Just goddamn perfect. Troops, listen up. We are mobile and fine. So pack up your shit. Delta, you know the drill. Hooper, wheels, ASAP. Where the hell are Velasquez and Sevchenko? Look, Seth. I just did what had to be done. And I will damn well make sure he gets court-martialed six ways to Sunday for it. Captain. Corporal Sevchenko. Sergeant Velasquez. Command's pulling the plug. They want us to execute an emergency exit scenario. We're pulling every soldier off this planet. We're retreating? I ain't leaving. This war isn't even half finished. What is this bullshit? Oh, no. This is not how this is going to go down, you insubordinate son of a bitch. I should just fast-track that court marshal and have both of you shot. Now you shut your trap and you listen to me. Is that understood? Is that understood? Yes, sir! Sergeant Velasquez, are you too stupid to follow a direct order to shut the fuck up? Captain? Okay, listen up. Damn, I wish I could remember the ending for the second one, though. Gas cruiser fleet zeroing in on our position. The general wants us en route before they show their faces. The best chance we have is to cut through the Vasari district and cross the Corinth River. From there, it's due east to the extraction point. Which is a crater the size of Kansas, somewhere underneath that mushroom cloud. We've got one shot at this, so we're doing this strictly by the numbers. Crater the size of Kansas. We don't have a lot of these babies, but they're our best bet against whatever the Higgs are going to put in our way. So I'm guessing Earth is a thing. What the hell is that? Whoa. It's evac now. Just nuking us all from orbit. Fire back at what? Everything. Whoa. Well, so much for that. Dev, you okay? Yeah. You see anybody else? Maybe that way. So I'm guessing we're playing as the, uh, obviously the guys from the original, but we're supposed to be playing as the guys uh, that didn't He's headed for the river. Make the evac. Follow that road below. Oh, this is way smoother and more responsive. All right, cool. Yeah, they must have got those extra SPUs right, man. doing some work. The Higgs are gonna pick us off one by one. Yeah, pretty much. But you know, we also. There's a couple of Higgs up at. Let's kill them quietly before they see us. All right. Nice. Oh. Oh. There's another one around the corner. You take him. Perform a brutal melee. Nice. Nice. I wouldn't say that's that brutal though. Okay. Where the hell is the 
rest of the convoy. We can sprint. Good. Yeah, I mean, it still seems a very bad idea to just assault the planet. I mean, I'm guessing there's no reinforcements coming. Where are the others? No idea. We think they're through this square. All right. Nobody die. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Ah, and there's a location damage thingy as well, which is quite nice, which wasn't present in the first game. Well, this, I keep saying the first game, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> in the second one. Oh, nice. It's definitely more responsive. I'm happy about that. <clears throat> okay, throw grenades. Whoa! Hello! Evening! Yeah. So you can... Oh! Wait! We get revived now? What is going... Why am I... Alright, so... Oof. Even when you get into cover... It's not really cover, it's cover. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming for you. Thanks, dude. You're a good man. I guess we he can just keep like bringing us back. So that's cool. Seem to make a good effort to get away from that grenade. Which makes sense, because the AI was pretty, pretty stupid in the second game. Oh, look at the shell casings. Oh, I like that, even though they are kind of just like spinning. You know, on nothing. Whoa, what the fuck is that? What is that? We don't want none of that. Not really. Gun <coughs> the gun seems to be way more accurate as well. It's a heck of an improvement. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, they are. Let's see if we can't push these higgy piggies back. Well, there's a rocket launcher. Alright, so one thing I am noticing that I don't like is it's click to aim. I prefer when it's hold to aim. It's not a big deal, and I'm almost certain you can change it in the controls. Lots of games have that option. Alright. I'm not that worried about getting killed, though, because I know Matey Boy's just going to pick me up. Now, oh, that looked like... Ah, uh, that's that weapon. That's cool. I'm guessing it's still a two-weapon system. Or maybe you can have, like, a heavy weapon... Uh, a pistol and like a, a standard rifle. I'm not really sure. Ooh. And you know what these games are like? Ah, oh, we can replace our pistol now. No, we can't. Oh, wait. Yes, we can. We can have like a heavy weapon. Does that mean... No. So pushing up, yeah, is our waypoint. So I guess we can have like a heavy weapon. Plus... Your pistol, which I'm guessing, yep, unlimited ammo. All right. Oh, man, who nukes their own city? The bad guys. It's always the bad guys. I don't see Narville. Rivers that way. That's where he said we got to cross. Yep. Just hope everybody makes it this time. Listen, Sev, about Basari, I... Forget it. I want to shoot him, too. But you didn't. No. But that's because I'm not a jackass. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to so remember the, the, the end. ISI... ISA engines, eh? Got you All right. We got me covered, Big Daddy. So I guess like we're gonna have a big reveal where these two are like gay or something at the end, which you know would have been pretty progressive for the time. It wasn't a huge amount of that. Hey boys, 
Whoa. Whoop. Hot potato. Yeah, the combat feels way tighter. It really does. I'm really enjoying this. Still a lot of... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's like spiders. Oh, that might have been a bad idea. So, what are they doing here? What is all this shit? We may never know. Right, let's crack these guys. Well, I thought the weapon was more accurate than it used to be, but... Oh, grenade. I hear that. Destructible environments. At least somewhat. Very nice. That was the big promise of this generation. Of the uh, seventh generation. All the big destructible environments. Remember? You remember the ones I'm talking about. The ones we never got. Outside of a few games, anyway. Gears of War did it. Um, Battlefield obviously did it. That's about all I can really remember off the top of my head. Whoa. Hey. Um. <laughs> I like the way the va valve handle didn't even move. That's fine. Whoa, what's up with this hitching? Right. Now, the trouble is, in this kind of situation, you're going to have hundreds of thousands of enemy troops. Millions, actually. Uh, and you've only got what you've got. It is a war of attrition that you are absolutely not going to win. Which is why I'm kind of looking forward to seeing where this goes. Especially with the, like an enemy like this that's so indoctrinated to hate you. You're not going to really find any sympathizers or anything like that. Can we... Yeah, the cover's weird, man. Sometimes you don't recess back into the cover. But, oh yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Because Matey Boy is just going to keep picking me up. I think they did that in Gears of War as well. I think it was like by the time we got to the third game. It might even have been by the time we got to the second game. Like your squad mates would start bringing you back. Uh, we're really running low on ammo. Which is not great. Evening, son. I have a belly full of that. Right, let's go grab this bad boy. Definitely going to find more ammo for this. Oof. Now, are we going to have some kind of stupid... Oh, right. Motion thing. Yep. Same motion thingy what's it as we had before. Really unnecessary. That's it, guys. All right. Yeah. We got a clear route. Well, we're going to certainly try to follow you guys. We are bringing up the rear as much as we possibly can. Dude, you might want to not stand back there because you're probably going to die. Mm, whoa! What? What's this like weird technology the Higgs are using? I like it. Well, we're not going to get very far if we're just... Going to shit. No one knows what anyone else is doing. Well, yeah. <laughs> Come here. I'll boost you up. The whole thing, dude, was... Uh, you know, supposed to be we're going to capture Matey Boy and force him into some kind of surrender. Didn't work out, though, did it? So now we are quite literally... Up shit creek without a paddle. In fact, no, we're on planet shit without a spaceship to escape with. What the hell is that? Oh, look at that dude. He's like fried. 
in his suit, he is like well and truly fried. Oh no, it's a mask. Let's get down there. It's not our objective, Rico. We gotta follow Narville's orders this time. Yeah. Ooh. The hell is this stuff? Hmm, some sort of like lightning gel. Interesting. Oh, hello. Grab weapon. Oh, so we can actually like just straight up pick, pick, oh, pick it up this time. Whoa, you fucking idiot. Slitch. Look, can you stop running into my stream of justice, dude? Probably not a smart move. Yeah, check my fire. Maybe don't walk into the big rotary gun. Just saying. Shit. Or maybe we should actually uh, <laughs> be a little bit conscious of our health. Right. We go again. So I'm guessing if we actually just grab it, kind of like in Halo, it's going to have limited ammo. Although, the whole idea that we can rip the gun off is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. We're in a different position here. Is this a different gun? Seems to be a better position. Much better position. I think our friend's on the other one as well, which is nice. This turret feels good as well. Kind of sounds alright too. Not amazing, but it sounds alright. Right, so if we push... Oh, that's... That's cool. Alright. 300 rounds. 300 rounds sounds like a lot. But I bet it isn't. Wakey, wakey, fuckers. Yep, that feels good. We've already burned through one sixth of our ammo. Whoa, grenade. Hi. Don't know where the grenade is. There's no grenade location indicator thing. Which is fine. Oh, you bastards. Honestly. It's enough with the grenades, sir. They're here. They're here. You know we're here. Been here a little while, sir. Oh, look at the way... Alright. Oh. <laughs> Ducked down into cover. Nothing good was... Oh, yeah. Of course. Thanks, dude. Why do I need to be careful? He's just going to bring me back every time. Surely. Unless I'm guessing he gets downed. Then we'll probably be in trouble. Let's try and pull high. Oh, the Higgs are in the way. Oh, sorry, <laughs> are you gonna are you gonna bring me oh ah So there is a limit to that regen. I had to had to push and try that then. So if you get too far away, I guess he won't regen you, because there has to be a limit to it, right? There has to be a limit to it. Otherwise, it's something that you can really manipulate. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, I'm enjoying this, like, way more than I enjoyed the second game. And the first game, for that matter. Ah. So, we're definitely going to be... I think next year, in 2024, we're going to play through all the Killzone games. Just, why not, right? I've never really, apart from the second one, I've never really experienced them um, properly. So, and Killzone Liberation. I'll see if I can spin up an emulator as well. And we, we try and do that one. As, I really liked that one. I really enjoyed that. And we're not going to be playing Killzone Mercenary. Because as far as I'm aware, there is no easy way of emulating Vita stuff. Unless you buy a PlayStation Vita TV. Which are actually getting quite pricey now. Uh, also, they're not compatible with every single PlayStation Vita game. Which was really fucking stupid. But there we go. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.